Welcome back to Air Starfish Sea Fishing. Uh, we come back to the whole bank today. We're going to be fishing for flounder again, hopefully the odd bass or some place. Uh, not the best conditions, a strong southerly wind today, but the tides are good. Uh, so I just come onto the top of the bank now. I'm going to start looking for some channels and gullies, go down to the low water and then fish it back. So what I've got here, I've got a nice channel in front of me down here and a nice inward channel that comes in. I've got plenty of high banks to uh, come back onto. So we're going to get down to the water's edge and uh, we're going to fish it back. And again on my right hand side there's plenty of channels to come in on. Got a nice high bank to come back onto as the tide starts to flood. We'll get down to low water now, it's just turned. We'll get down there and get some baits in. Standard type of flounder rig today. Uh, Snud line's about the length of my arm, using a size one hook, standard bomb on the end, just a one up, one down rig. Gonna be casting these about 40, 50 yards out and letting the tide come in over the baits to pick the flounders up. We might get a bass as well, but we'll try. I've only got frozen today because I haven't been out pumping this week, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some razor fish, a little bit of black log. We'll take some bait elastic. I'm just going to bind it together like so. So I've just got a little size base just to go on a size one hook. With it being frozen, it's not the best, but that's the kind of base I'm looking for for the flounder. If you just want to fish straight worm, just fold the worm in half if it's frozen. Take a bit of bait elastic and just come up the black lug like so. So they go quite hard again. So on the top, top hook, I'm just going to have a piece of black lug, like so. On the bottom hook, I'm just going to use a piece of black lug and razor fish. Just little size one hooks. So I'm not fishing too heavy today, 15 pound line. I've got my avets with me just because I prefer multipliers to fix bill, but that's just me. Uh, Primo synchros are going out as well. Just cast out now, wait for the tide to flood over the baits and hopefully we'll get some flounder. So we're going to be fishing quite close in, 30, 40 yards. Letting the tide come over the bait, it's the best way to get the flounder on the oil bank. So just a nice short cast. First fish out there, first little place, 35 centimetres. We'll get this one returned. It's a bit small for me to keep, but I'll try and get a bigger one. First fish out, get it back in. Two more flounder out, first one coming in a 34 centimetre, the next one, a bit bigger, coming in at 35 centimetres, so a nice double shot, so the flounder are on the feet today, let's get them back in, there you go, nice double shot of flounder, get these released, so in October on the whole bank we have quite a lot of these turn up around October, coming to feed on the black lug, they're uh, breeding at the moment, so Hopefully we'll get a few more out, get them back. So 
So you can see the first channel starting to flood in now. So I've got to move back up, let this channel flood in. And this is the ground where the flounder should be feeding in the lug beds. Right, so what I'm trying to do is, we're trying to follow these channels that come in and stay on the lug beds. That's where the flounder's going to come up these channels and they're going to be after the black lug. So when you get pushed off the black lug beds, you probably won't catch. Got uh, two more nice fish there. Another flounder at uh, 35 centimetres. And a very spent flounder. Would have been a good size that when he was fast. Coming in at 38 centimetres. There we go, two more flounders. Get them returned. We should on the feed today. One more flounder out again. Getting measured about the same size. I think, I think they're all coming in about 35 centimetres or so, but they're still coming. I'm not sure we're going to get past in these conditions. It's a bit calm, but if the fish are on the feed, I'm happy. You can see these uh, like Euro style bombs here. They're quite good. If you've got a swivel on the end, you roll around and search the flounder out. Really good leads, these. There you go, one more flounder again. Same again, about 35 centimetres. Get him back. Right, so we're on top of the first sandbank now. So we're going to follow this channel all the way around the side. And hopefully the flounder are going to come straight up the channel, straight into the back bank. That's what I'm hoping. So to the right hand side of me, you can see the uh, big hoil bank itself, absolutely featureless with the channel coming in behind it. So there's no point fishing ground like this because you won't get fish on it. But to my left here, I'm in the middle of a channel and the channel follows all the way up there. So I'm going to get on, stay on this bank, I'm going to follow that channel all the way back. So far I've avoided the rain but see what's coming towards me. I'm going to get wet at some point today. You can see I really like the looks of this channel coming in here. Got high hopes of this later on. So already the channel's just started to flood. We've just got a decent sized place out there for 36 centimetres. Got the bony ridge on its head there. Um, I'll be actually keeping this particular fish for me to see, but another first one out. Yeah, next flounder out now. Got a little baby place, I think. We'll get him back. Right, so there's the deep holes filled in now. And the channel works its way over there and comes in behind me. And you can already see that the channel to my left has actually come in already. So I've got to get off this bank and I've got to get over there onto that bank. So I've got the two holes in front of me 
I'm going to cast in there, I'll get another hour and a half and I'll get pushed off the fish. Right, that's it now, I'm on top of the bank. Um, fish are too far out now. Uh, thanks to everyone who subscribed recently and um, I'll see you again.